Welcome to the 2020 Summer Music E-Festival of the Cincinnati Chamber Orchestra. I'm so happy to see you all here. We are, of course, disappointed that we cannot play for you live in person this summer. That we cannot see your smiles, hear your applause, maybe share some laughter. No, we always like to have fun. But we will do our best to fill that void. I think that we all feel the loss of live music experience. The feeling of being together and, and sharing music. But we are here for you, virtually, to entertain you from a safe distance with the hope that next summer we will be back with live music again. Over the next three weeks, you can watch and listen to us, most on Tuesdays, Saturdays and Sundays, and once on Friday. And as you have come to expect from us, from Summer Musique, we will be at different locations around Cincinnati with different groups of musicians and featuring intriguing collaborations. And I hope you will enjoy the rather eclectic repertoire we have chosen for you. Now, during the months of June and July, we traveled quite a bit around town to present 20 pop-up performances at many locations. One of our favorites was our visit to the Cincinnati Zoo. We were curious about how animals react to music. I mean, do they care? Do they prefer strings or wind instruments, fast or slow music, high or low-pitched instruments. Today, we present the first installment of our CCO2GO Rewind series we call Zoo Review. And you can follow our non-scientific experiment with non-scientific discoveries. Well, we may not be particularly scientific, but we tried and we played for the animals early in the morning before the zoo visitors arrived to keep the experiment clean. Now, please enjoy the music by program curator and violinist Manami White and our musicians Suji Kim, Yugan, and Tom Guth.
Our musicians played three pieces for the elephants. First you heard The Swan from the Carnival of the Animals by Camille Saint-Saëns. And you can see in particular one elephant right behind the musicians with the name of Mai Tai, who just loved the music and who came very close. Now, we're going to play the first movement of the Brandenburg Concerto No. 3 by Johann Sebastian Bach. And you can see the elephant flapping her big ears, which is a sign that she's happy. I mean, who doesn't like Bach, right? And finally, music by Henry Mancini, the famous baby elephant walk, which was written for a scene in which three baby elephants are led to a waterhole to bathe. Very appropriate. <laughs> My name is Matt Ruiz. I'm one of the six elephant keepers here at the Cincinnati Zoo and Botanical Garden. We have just played a song for our three female Asian elephants. 
and right behind me is Mai Tai. Um, what I thought was really cool is as soon as the musicians started playing, two of our females came straight over. They had their ears flapping, they were wagging their tails. So I'd say we had a pretty positive reaction out of it. It was really cool to see the relationship between the elephant's uh, reaction and have these musicians here as well. Sometimes we will play music for the elephants for enrichment. We can leave like um, classical music or jungle sounds. We can even have rock music playing sometimes to change it up. So I think there definitely is a positive correlation between the elephant's well-being and listening to some music. The conclusion, elephants love not only elephant related music, but pretty much all music. Next, we went to the giraffes. And the keeper of the giraffe said that they are very skittish animals and that there might be a possibility that we might need to stop playing if they get too restless. And when the musicians performed, during the fast or first piece, you can see them curiously looking from afar, checking things out. Or during the slow composition, the famous air from the third suite by Bach, they came closer. So, I think it's fair to assume that they like slow music a little better. But see for yourself.
Then we moved to Gibbons Island. And here we played the slow piece, the Swan by Camille Sassons first, followed by a faster composition. The Gibbons seemed to be curious and climbed to where they could be closest to the musicians. Some of them actually sat pretty still and seemed to listen. They were a really good audience. I think they might have liked the faster music better. What do you think? Let's check it out. Hi there, I'm Thane Maynard, director of the Cincinnati Zoo and Botanical Garden, and it has been great to have the Cincinnati Chamber Orchestra out here playing for our guests, but just as importantly playing for our animals. Mai Tai, our Asian elephant, absolutely loved it and literally responded to different music in different ways. Other animals liked it too, I know giraffes, our gibbons, you know gibbons are musicians, they're the loudest mammal in the world, so it's been a fun, fun thing to have them out here and hopefully they'll come back. Thank you, Thane, for your comments and for this very interesting collaboration. Let's do more of this. So now we know it. Elephants love classical music the most. I think some more research needs to be done and we hope to be back at the zoo soon. Just for fun, here are two more facts about animals and music. Research has shown that goldfish can be trained to distinguish between composers, so they can tell the difference between Stravinsky and Bach. Mind blown. 
I don't even know how that would work. And, and I think that is pretty sure, is that cats reportedly don't care that much about music, unless it's specifically composed for them. So check out, check out musicforcats.com. But be careful, that music might work on you too. Thanks to all the musicians, elephant handler Matt Ruiz, the executive director of the Cincinnati Zoo, Thane Maynard, the CCO2GO Rewind series sponsors, Friends of Summer Music, and John and Marianne Bourne, and our concert sponsor, Cliff Guzman. And of course, also a big thank you to you, our virtual audience. Please join us again tomorrow, Sunday at 4 p.m. for a talk and concert with the phenomenal Silver Garborg Piano Duo, live from Berlin. And here is our final piece, played for the human visitors of the Cincinnati Zoo, the hit song, The Lion Sleeps Tonight, by Solomon Linda. Thank you.